continuing with the uh, tool vice part one uh, we're going to be creating two more parts for these uh, first is going to be a part two and part three and they're pretty similar on how how to create it so um, first you want to go to new create sketch select the uh, XZ on this go into two point center type in 3.5 tab 3.5 and enter say okay go into extrude uh, what we want for this one is 1.694 enter I want to change the view here for a second change to with edge um, go back to 3d model you want to choose this face here select get sketch and now go into the circle and just draw somewhere up here we want four inch diameter for this go to dimension constrain this here real quick we want zero for this here and here we want two and trim here said okay go to extrude uh, what we want to select is this piece here because we're going to cut this or uh, we could do it this way we could grab to cut and then select this face here real quick and go to sketch zoom out a little bit um, draw the same thing here we're just going to draw a circle up here type in four inch go to the dimension select there and there type in zero select it again here and here type in 3.132 for this and go into trim highlight that again cut it off say okay what we want to cut off is this piece here so go to extrude not this one but this one and you could do it this way too just do a cut and there we go it shows that it cut it here we go and now we're going to do some hole on here so select the hole select the top one first and what we want to do on this one is 0.288 and select this piece here and what we want is 0.25 uh, once we do that we could go to tape uh, thread here and we, that's exactly what we want and we're going to be changing this uh, thread depth to be a uh, 0.625 and the full depth would be a uh, 0.812 oh, I got it backward 0.812 for this 0.625 for this one here and then we want to just say okay you can see and now we're going to do mirror select the feature select mirror plane go to origin and select the uh, YZ there said okay now go back to mirror again select these two go to mirror plane and what we want for this time is XY said okay go back to hole select that right there highlight the top line here and the distance that we want for that one is just 1.388 and here we want 1.75 that's going to center everything up and we want a simple hole with the depth of 0.6875 and that we want 0.3135 um, again these will be tolerance later and we might have to add or modify certain things here later on uh, once we start putting them all together uh, but for now it's good enough uh, we want to go to mirror select the feature which is this one go to mirror plane and what we want for this is YZ and said okay go into fillet 0.125 is what we want so what we're going to do is just highlight this to soften this up a little bit give it a little more radius and said okay um, I'm going to change the view here to its shade and it's given that we want this one to be chrome so we're going to do a chrome polished look to it and there you have it for this piece uh, you could save it so let's move on to the next one um, so new parts 
Okay, and then we're gonna go to sketch for part three here. Hit OK. And go back into the um, two point rectangle, highlight here. Type in 3.5. Again, the tolerance is not um, important right now. We could change that later. Enter. Is it OK? Extrude. And the size that we want for this is 1.132. Enter. Uh, uh, I'm going to do a shade again. Bring it back to shade. There we go. Okay, select one of the side here, which is going to be this side first. Let's say sketch. And I'm going to be um, selecting the hole, which is going to be exactly the same. It's going to be 4 inch. Uh, 4. There we go. Just want to move it up here just to get it out of the way. Select there and there again. And this one we want 0 again. And how far the distance down we want? It's going to be two inch, so type in there and there. Two inch. Okay. Now what we want to trim off is just that again. Is it okay? Go back to three D model, extrude, and we're going to select this piece here and just pull it back again. It's easier. Say okay. There we have it for that. So what we want to do now is go into the face here, go to sketch, select the circle, select the center. And the diameter for this is just two inch diameter. So type in two inch, hit OK. Go to extrude, select that piece. And what we want to do is cut it into a depth of uh, only 0.562 and say it OK. Now we're going to add the hole to it. So select this face here, select hole, select bottom there, and what we want is there. So select the top line here, and for that one it's going to be a 0.813. Select this piece here, this little white line, and we want 1.75. And for the size, again, we're not going to worry about the tolerance, so we're just going to type in 0 0.3135, and the depth that we want is 0 0.6875, and we just have to say OK, and then select hole again, which I should have clicked apply, and then so then we we'll don't have to go through that, but either way. Select one hole again, select the top line, and that we want 0.281. Zoom out a little bit here so I could see it. There you go. And this one I want 1.75. And we want to say OK. Uh, nope. We want to go to tap hole. And that's pretty much what we want. We want the size of uh, 0 0.375, 3816 UNC. Um, also class B that's what we actually want uh, we're just gonna leave it alone for now so we're gonna say okay now we're just gonna mirror these two so go to mirror select here and select there select mirror plane go back to origin and select the uh, YZ for this say okay so as you could see we're pretty much complete with this one um, Nothing else needed to be done on this. Um, we're going to add some more stuff detail later on when we start putting them all together and then uh, modify it as we go along on that one. Uh, and this one also is given that we have to make it chrome. So as visual wise, we're going to add chrome. If I could find the chrome again. Yeah. Chrome. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Chrome, chrome, chrome. There we go. And there you have it, shaded. And you could save it. And um, the way that it should look like, if you want to assemble them all together once you save it, this is how uh, it should look like. Uh, and it, so once we made them all together, we could do that uh, in due time.
and these is not exact um, fit so all right thank you